Well, welcome everybody to what a, is this our fourth or fifth meeting? Yeah, Good fourth, I think. Yeah. Um, and welcome, and I think everybody knows everybody. Robert, Cody, Kathleen. Uh, there's Flo there. There's Chris, Aaron, and I don't. I see a phone number there, but I don't see a name. Oh, that's me. It's Karina from Bednor. Hi, Karina. How are you? Hi. Good. How are you? Good. Welcome to the meeting. Okay, so we're going to call to order now. And I think we kind of just did the roll call. Excuse me if I get things backwards. This is only the second time I've done this. Um, mm -hmm. And let's see, any conflicts of interest? Nope. Anybody? Nope. Okay. Okay, let's um, take a look at the agenda that we are going to approve. Everybody have it in front of them? Yes, I do. Okay, everything cool on it? I'm just gonna dig mine up here. Shiny mine right now. Just going to print mine out here. So we can approve the agenda then? That's a yes for me. Okay. Do we need to second that? Uh, Eric's chatting. He says I'll, he'll second. Okay. Thanks, Eric. Okay. Let's review and approve the minutes of the previous April 16th meeting. We had Jim Moffitt, myself, Eric, Karina, uh, Kevin, Cody, and Aaron. And we also had Owen, Jolene, and Florence. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Kevin and John McEachran and Kathleen Baker were not in attendance. Okay. Um, any questions at all? Has everybody had a chance to uh, go ahead, Cody, Cody? Oh, sorry, that's uh, no questions for me, no. Okay. Anybody else, any questions on it? No, I'll take that as a no. So can we get a motion to approve the previous minutes, please? No, Cody, thank you. In a second, you, that's, uh, okay. Okay, thank you, Eric's giving us a second on that. Okay, any business arising from the previous uh, meeting? Anybody? No. No? Okay. Uh, Florence, I'm gonna hand it over to you uh, for the multi-use trails master plan. Okay, thanks, Simone. Um, You're this is a pro this is a project that um, we've been discussing internally at the office for about six months, and it kind of came about when we started working on the snowmobile trails, and then we opened the ski hill, and then we had the cross country ski trails, and then I started getting questions from staff around, you know, how do we market all these trails, and and so we started to have a, a conversation around, well, we have an abundance of trails, all season trails, not just in the winter. And wouldn't it be great if we had a strategy that we could use in order to market our trails um, for multi-use and on a year round basis uh, to encourage people to come to Manitowage um, to increase tourism and economic development opportunities. And so as we started to develop um, this year's budget, I set aside some money in my budget, uh, which was approved, not through council, but through uh, funding from nuclear waste, which is part of my budget. And um, I was able to get matching dollars from Destination Northern Ontario uh, to undertake this trail strategy. 
And so we've recently put out a uh, call for quotes. Um, we are working with two firms who are interested in doing this for us. And the, uh, the bids close this Friday. And um, so we'll be moving forward to award the contract next week. Um, and the, the intent behind it, again, is, is economic development related, but it is, is really to look at the, the low hanging fruit, if you want to call it, um, around the trails that are already established here, um, whether it's um, hiking or canoeing or mountain biking or skiing or snowshoeing, ATV and snowmobile, that we can develop maps and marketing tools uh, to encourage other people to come to Manitowoc and experience um, uh, life here and experience the recreation trails here um, and also to create opportunity for local business to expand uh, what they're doing or in terms of what they're selling and also to increase opportunities in the hospitality sector but where people are going to stay. So this strategy will look at all of that and it'll also look at the sustainability of it. So what does the township have to do? What does the community have to do? What do the user groups have to do in order to um, maintain the trails, um, but also to meet certain criteria under Trails Ontario so that we can kind of go under their umbrella for liability insurance and uh, which will minimize the municipality's risk. So, I, I wanted to talk about it at the last meeting, but there were still some I's to dot and T's to cross in terms of um, finalizing my budget and ensuring that uh, there was adequate funding within my budget to undertake the, the study. So I was really happy when all of that was finalized and we could put out that call for quotes uh, a couple of weeks ago. So. I, I wanted to share this with you because it really does form a big part of where Manitowoc will be headed in the coming years in terms of um, economic development and the types of people that we're going to be actively marketing to come to the community. And it also uh, fits in with the community revitalization project because the, the consultants that we're working with really want to to know um, where we're headed with this because there will be things that come out of the community revitalization plan that reflect this um, tourism uh, strategy and also you know it like for example it, it could be something that we talked about at our very first meeting you know where where do people come where do people go when they get to Manitowoc to find out how to access the trails? We don't have one key place where they can stop and get information about about how to access the trails and what they can do here um, and where they where they go, where they can stay. And I expect to see in the community revitalization plan um, these types of opportunities for further development and further design in the community. So that, that's an exciting part of this project is how the three pieces tie together, including the, the rebranding. And, and I know that later when we get into the discussion and, and having this information might help you um, better focus on, on a brand that's been proposed um, in order to kind of really nail down what it is that we're trying to achieve and, and where we're going as a community in the coming years. So um, I, if you have any questions about about the strategy, the trail strategy, I'd be happy to answer that. But again, the proposals or the call for quotes closes on Friday and we'll have a better understanding of, um, of the price and the scope of the work and and who will be awarding the contract to. Thanks, Florence. That sounds really exciting for all of us. 
what what are they actually going to do with the trails? Are they going to develop the trails more than they already are or mark them or what's the whole idea? So the trails are already established and that's the, the beauty of this, this project and that's why it's considered a, a low hanging fruit for Manitowage. Um, so really it's about um, mapping it uh, with GIS data if it's not already or sorry, GPS data. Um, and then um, of course, there's a, a sign component, a wayfinding signage component, which Destination Northern Ontario will also um, fund with us 50% of the cost. And it's, so it's ensuring that, that people know where they are when they're on our trails. Um, they're not going to get lost. Um, the trails don't have to be um, developed uh, so that they're wheelchair accessible. There's different uh, levels of um, trail categories. And uh, so they will assess the trails and determine what category that the trails fit in. And most of them will be kind of outback uh, natural trails. Uh, there is a requirement from the township or the user groups that, you know, they are um, traveled a couple of times a year and uh, cleaned up if required. Uh, there may be trails that um, maybe a walking bit bridge would benefit that trail if, if it was determined that that would be uh, a trail that a lot of people would come to visit. Um, and, and then we could look at grant opportunities uh, for a walking bridge construction project further down the road. But really the, the strategy is to find those trails that are already existing, readily available, easy to market and, and start um, a real concerted effort with bringing more people to Manitowage to visit the community, uh, to spend their dollars here, of course, um, but to take advantage of uh, the beauty uh, that Manitowage has to offer on a year round basis. Cool. Will they be including all the waterfall trails? Yes. Oh, cool. Because I've had a lot of questions about that myself. I don't know about the rest of you, but a lot of people ask, how do you find them, this kind of stuff? Exactly. And that's mm -hmm. the, the answer is we want to give people. Yeah. And we can, we can hand them a map and say, here's how you get to all of these trails. And they're all marked and, and they'll know where to go. And they could stay here for a couple of days to explore. Yeah, that would be awesome. Yeah. Florence, do you want to move on to the community revitalization update? Uh, yeah. Just one sec, Simone, if you, if yeah, I can sorry. say something. Um, Florence, I think this is like fantastic idea. Like I would be, I'm a hundred percent like on board with this. Because even myself, we've gone to some waterfalls, they're not easy to find. We like hiking, we like this, we love everything. But you did bring up something that kind of raises a red flag. And it's unfortunate that the representative from the Manitowoc Economic Development Corporation isn't with us again tonight. Because I have some answers for that group, uh, some questions for that group. Because what we're basically proposing and of doing and moving forward ties into the image that they have built of this play in the extreme. And they're not engaging with us at the table. They're not showing up. And from what I can hear from the community, some people that are on this committee are going to benefit financially, especially in the tourism aspect of all this. And we still can't get them to the table. And it's kind of raising some concerns for me, uh, honestly. I just wanted to put it out there because, like, they should be working with us. And right now, from what I'm hearing from friends in the community, is they're kind of trying to work against us. So I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> Might not be the place or the time for the discussion, but it, it, it came to my attention this week, and I think it's something we're going to have to address. Uh, thanks for your comments, Eric, and, and the reminder... Uh, to me, and I should have said this earlier, is in February, I did meet with the Manitowoc Economic Development Corporation and I asked if they wanted to work with us on this project because, as I said, it was something that's kind of been in the works for about six months. 
and they have provided a financial contribution towards the costs of the strategy. So as we further develop um, what the, the committee will look like, um, I, I expect that there will be user groups, uh, representatives from the user groups on the committee, uh, as well as the Economic Development Corporation uh, because of their interest and their mandate and their financial contribution. So um, we will start to pull this together once we have confirmed uh, the consultant. So um, uh, I guess I'll leave it at that. No nope. questions or comments? Go ahead, Eric. No, that's. I think that answers a few questions. Moving forward, obviously, we're going to have to be at the same table and, like, you know, get the bounce things off each other because, like it or not, Economic Development Corporation with the township or Manitowoc Economic Development Corporation, their everyone's strategy should be aligned. So that's basically we need to start working as a team here. It's a small community. It's it's no place to start being like, you know, these little clicks. Mm -hmm. Any other comments or questions? Uh, just uh, with the, uh, the multi-use trail master plan, it's, it's a great idea that uh, this is going forward because um, we've got a, a massive introduction at the corner of the highway. Um, uh, about Manitowoc here, but we, we don't really uh, follow through once you get to the town. So two thumbs up for following through on playing in the extreme, quadding, snowmobiling, trails, all that kind of good stuff. So that that's exactly what we need to be doing is following through and uh, doing it at a quality level as well. Um, with the uh, snowmobile uh, club coming on board, you know what I mean? That could be a huge, um, they could be a huge aid in, in the winter for the trails. And, um, you know, may, maybe we'll get a, you know, an ATV club together here. You know, they, they can help in the summer through to uh, volunteers and whatnot. So I think it's a great idea that we're, we're going to start putting to use this stuff and, and properly marking it and marketing it and creating loops just as like the, uh, uh, the canoe trip plan or the canoe maps that we have here. I'm, Flo, I'm not sure if you're aware, but years and years ago, I knew it was in existence 15 years ago, there was a great big binder, I've got a copy of it here, and it was um, Manitowoc Inner Sanctum, and it was, I think there was a DVD in there, and there was roots in there that showed how to get to all the falls. Have you ever seen that, Flo? Yes, I, I have a copy at the office, and, mm -hmm. and it, it's very exciting. Uh, when I first moved here and I thought I'm going to, you know, start to do some of these trails. Uh, but then when I got looking closer at it, it, it didn't give me a lot of confidence in um, being able to find my way uh, <laughs> in, in the detail that was described. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I would much rather have a, a more detailed map, a signage along the way and, and knowing that, uh, you know, I'm going to get come out somewhere um, in civilization. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're not going to veer off into some area and never <laughs> see home again. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Anybody else? Any comments or questions? No. Okay. We'll move on. Florence, again, it's up to you to update us. Okay. So uh, on to rebranding. Uh, sorry, no, uh, community revitalization. So um, in working with uh, Form Studio um, regarding the community revitalization project, they, they have asked us to um, get, a, get some more direction on this trail strategy, uh, get that going, and then they will work with the, the consultant to start to develop um, the the themes that we'll see in the, the, the community revitalization plan based on the information that comes out of the, the trail strategy. So they're going to start to 
uh, align themselves with the consultant working on the trail strategy in order to do the, the theme work for the revitalization plan. So there will be a lot of um, overlap in terms of what we're gonna see visually and uh, they will work in coordination with uh, this other consultant that we're, we will be um, awarding the contract to. So that will be um, awarded next week and then we'll start to see them um, put together the public consultation piece around the trails, the public consultation piece around the community revitalization plan and it'll all come to a head together um, in August with some preliminary um, and final designs uh, that we'll all get to see and comment on. So the, we've, we've taken a, a, a bit of a, a step back at COVID related part of it, but also um, for the trail strategy to get on the table and get caught up and so that they can work together on this. Wow. I just want to say one thing, Flo, I really have to compliment you on the way that you are moving this whole thing forward. We're not sitting there and doing nothing. It's actually moving forward. And I'm really, I'm really happy to see that. Oh, well, thanks, Simone. Yeah, it's a fun project to work on. Yeah, yeah. Okay, do you want to move forward to the rebranding now, Flo? Yeah, so again, another project that's very complementary to, you know, the trails uh, strategy and the community revitalization um, planning document is the, the rebranding. And so based on our meeting that we had last month, I, I sent the comments, you saw um, the comments that I provided to Stephanie Ash at Fire Dog, um, and you've seen her response. Um, and then she also offered to provide some um, preliminary uh, conceptual designs for the logo so that you can see how the uh, tagline and the logo would work together. And based on the, the comments at the last meeting, um, we just did the top two uh, taglines. So, um, Sorry, I'm looking at an old document. Um, in, the, in the heart of nature and uh, beyond the city. So uh, the three logo designs for in the heart of nature were provided. Um, and then four designs for beyond the city. So I'm not sure, Simone, how you want to um, chair the, the discussion around that, but um, knowing the, the information about the trail strategy, um, I, I think that was a really important piece uh, to, to get up to date on in terms of looking at the, the tagline in the logo. Okay. Um, maybe what we'll do is we'll just go do a round robin, but before you do that, I just wanted to ask you a question. Um, do you remember we had that discussion last meeting in regards to um, Horn Payne and, yes. and, and them being the center of Ontario or whatever it was. Did anything come of that? Um, Stephanie did not feel that um, the tagline was in any kind of conflict with In the Heart of Nature. Um, and, and Owen did speak with their CAO to confirm that that's not their current tagline. Um, but they may be developing that at a further time. Okay, okay. So, I think their tagline right now is home of the three bears or something like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we go around the table and just kind of have a quick discussion with, um, with the two logos. Let's start with um, Beyond the City, if you don't mind. And then we can just go around and everybody can talk about it. Who wants to go first? I think we lost Cody. Cody's there. I'm back now. Oh, okay. There we go. Perfect. Um, honestly, I'm I'm not crazy about the Beyond the City myself. It's uh, I know we're in the middle of nowhere. It's just like I don't know. Um, 
I, I like the heart and the nature, like the, the, the idea that, you know, the heart is like, you know, it's the organ, it's the beating heart of uh, our, our community, whatnot. And yeah, it's nature. And if you're, if you're not an outdoors enthusiast, you're going to be very unhappy in Manitowoc. So like that, that, that to me is like, you know, it's stating the obvious beyond the city, but again, that's my opinion. Okay, who wants to go next? Cody? Yeah, sure. Um, I, I have comments on the logos as well, but just I'll, um, just the uh, tagline itself, again, uh, uh, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of it. Um, like, beyond the city to me would be like, okay, you have the city of Thunder Bay, and then 20 minutes out, you have Kekabeka Falls. So, you know, you're beyond the city, but you still have all the amenities. If you want to come in and go shopping at Walmart or any of those big box stores, um, it, it's that you know something like that is beyond the city we're we're, de we're definitely not beyond we're way beyond city <laughs> we're way beyond yeah that's a good point yeah <laughs> okay aaron or chris or Kath, kathleen anybody want to comment on the the logos or the the taglines no but i do agree with cody a hundred percent yeah i do too yeah Oh, see, I was going to be a bit of a devil's advocate. I actually really like the Beyond the City. And, like, I'll, I'll partly explain. I just took this EDAC, this, like, Economic Developers Association of Canada. They do this, like, year one um, intro to community economic development. And they were showing some examples of, like, communities that did, like, rebranding processes. Um, and one of the things they talked about as, like, this kind of, like, driver is, like, it's kind of like this intriguing notion, right? Like, you know, kind of like kind of throws your eye. Like, you know, I didn't think about that. And that's kind of what I saw when I saw the Beyond the City. Like, I do understand that like the heart of nature, like they're both really beautiful. Like, I, I think they're both great. But the heart of nature, I feel like is also kind of like a common, like when I look at the two, the one that's like Beyond the City is kind of like more striking to me. Because like, we're all like in nature, but I feel like Beyond the City is kind of like this like, interesting, like, allure that I, I found kind of cool, I guess. Yeah. Yep. Thanks, Kathleen. Anybody else with any comments on uh, the first one, Mantouage Beyond the City? <laughs> any other comments? Okay. Uh, my, my only comment is, like, we narrowed things down to, like, two of them now, and it's it just seems to me like beyond the city wasn't really that much of like, I, I, from what I recall, I don't remember people really like liking that one as much. And I, I, I think there was a few more that we were like kind of hooked on. No, wasn't there like two or three, uh, three or four of them? I think that these two here were the two that actually um, had the majority vote. Uh, yeah, Simone, you you are correct. Yeah, and I think that's why um, Flo took them back to Fire Dog and Stephanie just to see, you know, what we could do with the the actual logo itself. I can't even remember all the other ones now. Can it, can anybody else? Uh, yeah, I can go over them. Uh, Better Natured was one. Um, where opportunity comes naturally is another. Natural community spirit and great north spirit yeah and we had the discussion about the word spirit remember yes yeah and we weren't too you know, that was kind of iffy yes yeah and there was a suggestion that we uh, go back with naturally spirited um but According to Stephanie and in her comments, it already is copyrighted to another Ontario municipality. Okay. Eric, was there anything in there that you were you thinking? No, like sorry, COVID brain there. I just like it's still <laughs> a while. And I just thought for some reason they were like, you know, I think we we're all in agreement that none of these choices really jumped out at us and said, Yeah, that's what Manitowoc is, like, you know. Mm -hmm. And we're coming, I kind of feel we're coming back to the same thing as what we're, like we narrowed it down to two, but it, I almost feel like we're settling. That's, that's, that's my impression. It, listen, I'm one voice on this committee. 
Like, yeah. uh, I'll have to agree with you just a tiny bit on the, the settling thing, Eric. Um, I was kind of hoping that maybe when <laughs> the two options that we had on the table presently went back to um, Fire Dog, that maybe maybe they 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 would have come up with a few other ideas you know a few other options it just kind of got narrowed down to two options so i am definitely on feeling like you know this is what it is these are the choices and that's what it is right um i was kind of hoping they were going to come back with a few more options that we could discuss but um i guess this is where we're at I guess those those two were the best of the lot, right? Mm -hmm. So it looks like the fire dogs just run, run with those two. Okay. Flo, any comments? Um, I guess that you know if if you've narrowed it down to conceptually that you like one over the other. Um, I can take that back to Stephanie and say, okay, we are 70% committed to this, but it needs some kind of tweaking. And we don't know what that tweaking is. That's why we've hired them. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, if, if, it's, if, the, if it's the words heart and nature um, that you like, um, we can get her to work with that. <clears throat> Any comments, anybody? Um, I, I do like that slogan. Uh, just like I said, you know, it, when we discussed it, like I, I, I was kind of just expecting a few more options in the, in the mix there to have a discussion about. But again, I, I, I do like in the heart of nature. Um, it's not that I don't not like it. It's, mm -hmm. um, yeah i like in a herd of nature as well I, I sometimes stumble on it though because i don't like the word in for some reason i kind of like it more like mentors the heart of nature mm -hmm. i don't know what it mm -hmm. is it's just mm -hmm. any other opinions on that anybody uh i agree with you it just um it like in the heart of nature itself like that slogan it, it, it definitely like when when you read the description um, under the option on the original paper that we had gotten there, like it it talks about unique location, geography, beauty of Manitowoc, surrounding lakes, river, forests, mountains, and more. Uh, the heart reflects the central geographic location as well as the kindness, community spirit of the local people. Like that, that pretty much just hits the nail right on the head there. That that's that's a very good description of Manitowoc. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But Any like uh, Flo was saying, go ahead. Um, like Flo was saying, we could always, you know, if, if that is the preferable one in the end, you know, the, you know, she could bring that information back, and maybe they could try and rearrange it a bit, or maybe make a change, or, or like you say, get rid of the in, you know, Manitowoc is the heart of nature. I don't know. That seems, this seems like more of a powerful statement to me. It's just mm -hmm. a, it's the heart of nature. Like mm -hmm. we are, we are. Mm -hmm. Any other comments, you guys? Comments, questions? No? So Flo, where are you gonna go with this then? Are you gonna send the, the one back? Is, is everybody okay with that? I don't want it, like, I don't want it seem, to seem like we're being pigeonholed here. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like we've only got the one choice. Is that, are we okay with this? Mm -hmm. I, um, I do like in the heart of nature. And um, again, uh, uh, there, there's just an, an, an image that in my mind and that um, I, I remember years ago uh, opening up Google Earth and I was wanting to look around the area and um, when I typed in Manitowoc, it was this tiny little green dot in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by miles of dark forest. Well, that, that to me just kind of puts it in the heart of nature where 
Yeah. We're definitely, we're ways off the highway. Um, and uh, that's just my opinion on it anyway. Huh. Thanks, Cody. Anybody else want to put um, their two cents in? Maybe defer this and, and not defer it in a way where we're going to have another meeting. Maybe just for the two taglines, um, just if we could maybe email the other members and get their input on it because they're not here. I wouldn't want to make a, you know, a quorum decision and then, you know, they might have yeah. some insight on, but I think one of the big things is what Flo mentioned was if we can look at the conceptual stuff, at least get that out of the way. And then I think it might be easier and then maybe uh, leave, you know, it's basically gonna be two choices. What do you like about beyond the nature or in the heart of nature? And let's hear from the other members. I, don't I think know. that's I think that's a wise move, Flo. Can we defer this? Um, defer it to the next meeting in June. You mean? Um, yeah, so that we can have some more input from those that are absent. Uh, that's not what I meant. I meant oh. is there a way to maybe do a, an email again to everybody after our meeting and just say okay. These are the two concepts we'd like to hear from the members who weren't there so that we can okay. see what they're, what they're going at, what their, what their thoughts are. And then maybe we can do, we can do a, a quick vote, uh, come back, do a quick vote on it. I don't know. I, it's with technology it makes things a little easier to pick up and go, but, uh, yeah. I'm, well, I'm honestly without, I'm not ready to make a decision at three of us on the right one tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So that would be called a meeting. And so we would have to call a, a special meeting and, um, and, and that could be the only item on the agenda, um, but it would have to be, um, you know, a, a special meeting of the community revitalization committee. We can do that, absolutely. And what, what if we get the same situation where they don't show up at the meeting again? Do we just like move forward or what happens? Eric, you're muted. I know. I was just. I was some nonverbal. It's like, yeah, <laughs> they could. They could choose not to show up, and we're right back in the same boat. You're right. Yeah, yeah. So, anybody questions, thoughts, comments, you guys? Um, just to, like about the meeting itself. Like this, this information was sent out to everybody, right? Like yes. everybody knows what's going on, what we're discussing, and why we're here, and what we're doing. So, you know. Uh, again, I don't want to make the decision right now, but it, it's everybody's got to do their due diligence to uh, show up here and work as a team. Because, um, like I said, when you have a meeting, you have quorum. If you're not there, well, unfortunately, that's that's I, from what I understand how it goes, right? But uh, I definitely want to hear the feedback from other uh, the other people. Don't get me wrong, but mm -hmm. again, we need to keep moving forward. That's all. Flo, what are your suggestions that we do on this then? Um, I could poll the other members to see if they would be available next week okay. and, and we can um, go from there. If, if they're available, then we can call a special meeting. Okay. Uh, but if, they, if they're not available, I will get back to you and Eric as co-chairs and then we can make a decision about um, moving forward. So if we don't meet with the other members, my direction to Stephanie will be to work with In the Heart of Nature um, and bring back one or two more options with that theme. Okay, is everybody in agreement with that? Yeah, I We're totally okay agree with, with that. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Hey, any okay. comments on the actual design itself? Anybody? You've all seen it, have you? Or not? Uh, you froze up there for a second. Okay, yes. Sorry. Yeah. Um, yes. Has everybody seen this? 
Yeah, uh, I've got two things that jump out at me, two thoughts. Uh, number one is manitouage. Every, anytime you say the word manitouage, you're always like spelling it for people. <laughs> Cursive is not that easy to read. <laughs> Uh, I would be very mindful about the font that's used because the way it was written, it's beautiful, it's really nice. We know what it is. Someone who's not from here has not seen the name or whatnot, eh, might struggle with the reading of it. Uh, other than that, like I think the design concepts are gonna, you know, come down to probably personal preference. Like for example, I really like the the tree on the Beyond the Nature. Uh, but to go with the, um, to go with, uh, if you go to the, I think it's the first page, uh, Manitouage is like a little, you know, pine tree, you know, just three, three triangles of nature. I like that tree for some reason, uh, more than what's presented on the first, uh, with whatever they've put forth with the heart of nature. Is this the one you're talking about, Eric? Can you see it? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one? Yeah. Any again, other that's, I don't know why, for some reason, I really like that, but more than the others. But again, it's it comes down to personal preference at this point. Well, you, you know, it's interesting you should say that because one of them is a conifer, and this looks like a deciduous. Yeah. Anybody notice that? Mm-hmm. And what See, are we that's beyond by? my expertise. That's over <laughs> my head. <laughs> <laughs> and what are we surrounded by? Mostly this, right? But we do have some of this. So that's kind of, I don't know, maybe we should uh, think about maybe a, a redesign on uh, the the actual logo itself that See, when I look at this one, my comments on this one is, it just strikes logging industry to me. Does anybody else feel that? Um, maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit, yeah. Yeah. No, I think it comes back to your original point. Like, we're just, that's that's our, our region, right? That's That's the forest that we have in all of northern Ontario. It's like, there's a reason why we don't have... Uh, you know, an abundance of oak trees around here, right? So, like, I, I don't think it screams forestry industry. Uh, I think it just screams more forest. And... Um, I'm, I don't have the, um, the logo concepts in front of me because I was having computer trouble. But I, I believe it was the one in Beyond the City. I liked the M in it because it reminded me of a mountain. And then when I started thinking about that, I wondered if they could somehow create um, a ski hill looking M from that. Is that the one you're talking about, Flo? No, no, it must be the other one. That one's boxy looking. Yeah, I thought it was really boxy looking too. But there's, there's one that reminds me of a mountain. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one? Yeah, and I thought it would be very cool if if it looked like it had, it was a ski hill in I the see, end. I see exactly what you're saying about the mountain look there. Yeah. Yeah. So is it fair to say that when Flo goes back to Fire Dog and Steph, that she maybe asks for a little bit of tweaking on the actual, um, Maybe the wordage, the verbiage, and also on the actual picture, the logo, the word manitouage, and the maybe the trees, maybe talk about the ski hill, that kind of stuff. Are we all okay with that? Just one comment, um, and more of, it was a warning that was shared to us at the open house that, um, that I just came back to me. You know, we're talking about... Um, building a trail system we're talking about the ski hill if we tie in playing the extreme what we're doing is we're basically our brand is going to be tourism mm -hmm. right and we were like at the beginning i can't remember which one was which one of the presenters <clears throat> very careful about 
what you're going to put forward as a brand because you have to deliver on that brand. Now, do we, does Manitowoc want to be a tourism destination? Do we want to put all our eggs in that basket? Because it kind of looks like we're going there <laughs> in that direction, right? So just like a little comment from what was shared to us by the experts in the past. Uh, I would say it's never a good idea to put all your eggs in one basket, but, um, uh, you know, what we have, what we have to offer is the snowmobiling and, 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 and the play in the extreme and the ski hill and all that kind of stuff. But, um, definitely if opportunity ever arises there, you know what I mean? Uh, it, we're, we're definitely going to open, you know, accept it with open arms. Right. Um, I think we're just, I just feel like we're working with what we have right now, you know, um, I don't know. Yeah, like we don't know what we're going to have in the future, right? Uh, you know, some company could fly a plane over here and pick up a huge chunk of gold, you know, on the other side of Kawissa skill, uh, Ski Hill, and then, um, you know, things change again, right? So I definitely agree with not putting all the eggs in one basket. Yeah. You froze there for a minute, Cody. Oh, lost Cody. The other thing that we're forgetting is that we're also world-class fishing and hunting area and I mean that also a kind of ties in with the tourism as well but it's, it's like a destination it's a destination we're going to go hunting there we're going to go fishing there mm -hmm. so it's kind of ties in with the tourism as a destination mm -hmm. yeah. any comments or questions anybody else yeah, and I have no problem with the whole tourism thing, but if that's going to be the brand, that's what we have to put out there, and that's what we have to deliver. Like Cody said, if we're going to put something up at the corner to get people in, it can't just be some big monument. We have to deliver the goods after, right? So, and that's my my big focus is there's there's opportunity for development around tourism. That's that's for sure. You take COVID right now, everyone wants to get the hell out of town, right? <laughs> everyone wants to go experience life somewhere else. So, no, I just wanted to reiterate that because I want to make mm -hmm. sure that we know what we're, all these little decisions we're making, we're basically pointing in the same direction. Mm -hmm. and, and you're right, Eric, the, that message from the consultant at that first meeting was... Uh, your brand is a promise that you can deliver um, when when that person gets to town no matter what that brand is you you need to be able to to deliver it in every aspect in at the the grocery store uh, in every interaction that they have in the retail sector in the hospitality sector when they meet people on the street everybody needs to be singing that from the same song Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, any more comments or questions before we move on? Um, just I agree um, with Eric in terms of the, um, oh. Oh, go ahead, uh, go ahead. I was just gonna agree with Eric in terms of the accessibility on the handwriting, because like sometimes that is like a bit of a challenge for people to read. So if you want the, like, the font to be clear. Yeah, definitely. Anybody else? Any comments, questions before we move on? Okay, I think we reviewed the presentation, didn't we, Flo? We're, we're done with that? Yes. Okay, and then the comment in the direction of Fire Dog Communications, you already commented on that? Okay, yes. so I guess we're at next steps. So, um, I will follow up with the, the two members tomorrow to see if they're available for a meeting next week. Okay. And, and the only item on the agenda will be the rebranding. And then I'll, I'll circle back with you um, to advise you, uh, both you and Eric. And okay. in the absence of them not being available, then I will proceed to provide comment to Stephanie with regard to um, the tagline in the heart of nature and to 
massage that a little more. And I'll give her feedback on the, the logo concepts. But again, they were just concepts. They were in no way um, a draft design. But our comments will help her formulate that. Okay, that sounds good. Anything else, anybody? Any other business? Um, just one one quick question there is just um like we didn't really get too heavily into um the logos. I know I know we talked about um you know the trees and stuff and, and Eric liked the one with the tree, but um did you guys want to go through each logo or just something that stands out or we, we didn't really get into I, I I don't want to drag this on forever either, but we didn't really get into the logos um overly much. I don't know. Did do you guys want to discuss that at another time or? Can everybody see the logos? Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the first and the second one. Mm -hmm. And then we had the comments about the clear writing. And here's the third one with no, no frills or anything, put it that way. And then the fourth one, I think had the clearest writing of all, and it was this one. Mm -hmm. Any comments, guys? Um, I'll just, uh, I'll run down my list here and I'll make it real quick. Um, in the heart of nature, the, uh, the first one, that was actually uh, my favorite. Um, it's, a, it's a good representation, it's clean and simple. Um, the second one, uh, I liked it, but it, it seems a little simple. Um, the third one, the one that you had shown a minute ago, I, I like the autumn coloration in it, but it, it kind of reminds me of a logo that you'd see on like a clinic or a hospital or something like it almost looks like a family health team logo. This one, Cody, is that the one you're talking about? Yeah. I mean, and yeah. again, that's just merely my opinion. Um, with the beyond the city. Um, the first one with the large letter M on it, mm -hmm. it almost, to me, looks like a company logo, um, like similar to the company that I work for. Mm -hmm. um, the second one with the trees, um, with the brush strokes, uh, I really like that one. Um, the next one is, uh, I like it, it's simple, but not my favorite. <laughs> and the last one with the diamond, with the geometric type shapes in it. I'm not really a fan of it. Thanks, Cody. Eric, you want to comment on these? <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, I was having problems here. Uh, yeah, uh, so basically I'm like, um, uh, stay away from the cursive, basically, is my comment. I know it's, uh, you know, they, they, uh, they use the heart and try to replace the, uh, I think it was the A or the D with the heart. Like, that's cool. Uh, again, I don't know how you can get away with that with when you're not writing in cursive. Um, just to have the heart somewhere in there. Uh, I've already talked about the trees. And, again, my, uh, I was trying to Google, like, forest product places and all that, see what their logos are and their not much, I guess, nowadays that <laughs> they're putting trees in their, their logos, you see branches and stuff, but, um, yeah, but I, I think Flo mentioned it, like, these were just basically probably thrown together fairly quickly. Once we have, uh, we've narrowed it down to two, to, to our, our one tagline, I think that, um, what they're going to probably present after is going to, you know, probably we'll have more choices and probably more dialogue about it then. So I don't know if that's incorrect, Flo. Maybe you can comment on that. But uh, yeah, those are my comments. Hi. Thanks, Eric. Yes, uh, you are correct. Um, Flo, I just, uh, I just caution. I feel like there's some settling going on uh, uh, with the logo and the design and the name. And I just think we should have, or everybody should be very cautious that the last logo we used, we've been using for 55 years. Uh, 
I have to agree with Chris. I'm sorry, like is the is the message that we've been using the logo because it's been working for us? And no, no, it's, it's just, sorry, it's just, uh, I just, because I feel like we're settling. It's just, I think the decision that um, this committee makes uh, over the next couple of months uh, may, may, may be in effect for a long period of Okay, yeah, I get you, thanks. Yeah. I, I agree with Chris. Um, I'm not, I'm not feeling what's been presented. I really like uh, the descriptions of everything that's been presented because I really think it, it really speaks to Manitowage. I think the problem is here, and please comment if you disagree. I think we're trying to find something that represents us as a community because we live here and we're forgetting that we're trying to brand for the outside world. Um, it's not necessarily just for us, it's for everywhere else. And as long as we pick something that, again, we can sell and that we can stand behind and like Flo said, we have to deliver on every aspect, I'm fine with that, whatever the tagline is. <clears throat> as long as we can deliver what we're promising. Anybody else? Uh, I was just wondering what it, what was the logo that was in, in place for 50 years? Or let, not the logo, but the, did you have a good tag? What was the tag? I don't know if there was a tag. The picture was a, a minor, right? Chris, can you uh? Yeah, the, the picture I see, like the the three the three men, the the prospectors. I just wasn't sure if there was like a a, tag. a tagline. Yeah. To my knowledge, there's never been a tagline that's gone with the logo. Okay. Okay. There's just that sign when you're coming into town, home of a lot of really great people or something like that. <laughs> yeah. There's like it. two signs right one after each other and they're like you can you can see they're both like probably like 28 20 years apart the signs but they're still there. Okay. Okay. Say the same thing. <laughs> okay, so let's go back to next steps. Um we have kind of decided that we are going to do a little bit of a deferral to see if we can get that other, um, the other members to get, give us some input and feedback. And then maybe we can kind of, you know, go from there, Flo. And um, so I think that's about it. There's no other business. Anybody? No? Just, okay. just sorry, Simone, just really quickly, just for... Yeah. To basically speed things along mm -hmm. um, I'm available every night next week for me so am I Cody uh, yeah myself as well okay anybody else just a heads up to flow uh, there's a council meeting Wednesday night okay thanks <laughs> So basically, my I'm saying is, if you call the meeting on that night, I'll, I'll be there. I'll show up no matter what, because I know it's not going to be a, a long meeting. I'll, I'll make it happen. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we've got our next meeting, other than the special meeting, set for Tuesday, the 16th of June, 7 o'clock. And if there's nothing else, can I get a motion to adjourn? Eric, I'm going to second it. Cody. Okay, everyone. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, bye.